Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Cavalry Camps Club. Welcome back to another daily Chelsea Transit News video. And today, I'll be talking about the Ornstein dagger yesterday, about Fofana and Dumfries, Frankie de Jong, Amari Hutchinson, all things Chelsea. So, without further ado, if you're new here on Cavalry Camps Club, I do daily Chelsea Transit News videos. So, if you want to stick up today with all things Chelsea, subscribe. 500 subs very soon, hopefully. And without further ado, let's go on the first one. Now, of course, starting off with the David Ornstein exclusive yesterday, which set everything alight. And that is, of course, of Wesley Fofana and Denzel Dumfries. Now, this really um, reinforces our links to Denzel Dumfries and Wesley Fofana, because as we know, Ornstein is a very reputable journalist, more so than Fabrizio Romano in my eyes when it comes to uh, Chelsea and English football. However, the deal was around, they're saying they want 80 million and then for Dumfries, 40 million. But they're both very high possibilities. I think with Fofana is that, of course, Leicester don't want to keep him. Brendan Rodgers actually came out yesterday after a friendly and said, no, he's not for sale. But where have you heard that before? We've heard that for Chilwell. And then, of course, he was sold. And then also with Chilwell, they wanted 70 million. We got it down to 50. They want 80. Hopefully, we can get around to 65 because the same price of Kunde. I mean, he's a better player, so that would be great business. And of course, coming out today, again, is that Chelsea are progressing the deal, which is also good news to, say, just to show that we're actually... Looking at the deal, we're going into it more. With Denzel Dumfries, um, hey, I don't really mind the deal. I think it's better than a Benjamin Pavard, who, of course, is going to stay at PSG for the end of the season, which is great. He's a marauding right wing back. He can also play across the back line, which, of course, is what Thomas Tuchel wants. He scored lots of goals last season, took a lot of touches in the second half. And is a player we actually, um, rather than a filler player, is actually a player who could build and progress. He's still young. Him and Rich James would be absolutely great. But speaking of more wing back, I'm going to a story which says Chelsea are trying to swoop for Man City target Mark Cucurella from Brighton. Now, I remember at the start, at the very start of the transfer window, we were linked with Cucurella. Price tag around £50 million. However, it looks like it's almost certainly he was going to join Man City, but maybe Chelsea could have something to do with that. Of course, Cucurella is on the left side. And as we know with Cucurella, he is also very versatile. When he played in Spain, he played winger. But of course, he moved back to left wing back under Brighton tenureship. However, we know Alonso looks like he's going to be leaving. He's not very happy. Along with Emerson, he looks like he's going to be leaving. So, along with Chilwell, Cucurella would be an amazing back line. And if we were to sign Cucurella and Dumfries, I had to say our defence would be one of the best in the league. Anyway, on to the next story. Now, speaking on to the midfield, of course, Amari Hutchinson, who is the youngster we signed from Arsenal, couple weeks ago looks like he's going to be joining Reading on loan this is great news because again he wouldn't have got into the first team and I'd rather him get some championship experience like many of our loan stars get like Gerhi, Mason Mount, Rhys James all that because it really toughens them up get some used to the English league rather than development squad so hopefully in the coming years he can come into the team which is good news of course breaking news big news actually is that Chelsea are preparing to make a bid for Barcelona's Franco de Jong to hopefully hijack for Manchester United. Now, this is crazy to think. Anyway, we know Barcelona's wage structure. We know Franco de Jong's needs. If he wants to stay at Barcelona, he has to take a 50% pay cut. So he's almost forced out the door. I mean, the only way he'd stay at Barcelona is to think that if he stays, he'll get paid. But I don't think that's how it works because Barcelona are little scammers. Enough on Barcelona. Of course... As more stories come out, I'll break that down, but that's very exciting news because, of course, Frankie de Jong is one of the best talents in the world, and I couldn't say no. And finally, Todd Bowley loves having meals with people, but and yesterday he had a meal with a Slovenian agent of Sesco, who, of course, plays for Salzburg. I know people might not have heard of him, but again, there's been loads of clips online against when he played against Liverpool in pre-season, and Klopp was like, wow... Might need to sign him and get rid of Punes, but of course, Chelsea are onto it first. Again, I like this new uh, transfer strategy of buying young players. Of course, Nico Sesco from um, RB Salzburg. Salzburg, of course, a breeding ground for all great talent. I'm speaking of Sadio Mane, players like that, Haaland, of course. And before he goes to RB Leipzig, which they will do, hopefully he can come to Chelsea. And he's a striker. Armando Broja like build. Of course, I wouldn't say no. But that's in the, the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. 500 subs soon and hopefully we can get even more Ornstein daggers and news coming. So for Fana, hopefully soon. See you tomorrow.